Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try the Unicorn Song. Uh, this is based on the Irish Rovers version of the song, okay? Alright, this song should be a lot easier than it actually is. It's, uh, <laughs> if you can play C, D minor, G7, and C, and you can figure out where to put them, you can probably just do it by ear. I'm going to break it down exactly what, uh, what's going on in the song, okay? Uh, if you're looking for that lead intro part, I'm going to do that at the end, okay? So I'm going to do the rhythm part first. All right, you need a C chord. Uh, I'm going to put my capo at the fifth fret. That, that's based on the original version, the studio version. Uh, I've seen them live play it with the capo at the third fret um, in different, um, uh, later on, in other words. So, so if you catch them on YouTube playing it with the capo at the third fret, uh, it's true. They probably were doing that. But the beginning, the original is capo fifth fret. All right, so a C chord, second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret, fifth string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string. That's my C chord. There's only three chords in the whole song, so uh, if you can play by ear, you can figure it out pretty easily. Uh, G7 is the fifth string, uh, no, sorry, the sixth string, third fret, the fifth string, second fret, and then the first string, first fret. It's my G7 chord. And then a D minor chord would be also that first string, uh, first fret, the third string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string on D minor, okay? All right, so the intro, the rhythm guy, is uh, he's going to play a C chord for a measure, and then there's going to be a G7 chord, and they're going to switch to a 2-4 time. So only two beats in the measure, then they go back to the C chord for 4-4 four, four time. So the intro is just like this. when that, that part comes in. So uh, this is what the rhythm guy's doing though. The C chord for, I'm just going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. That's what the C chord will do for a measure. And then the G7 is going to be down, down, up. And then you're back to the C for, for the down, down, up, up, down. Okay, let me play it through without yakking. C chord, G7, C. So that's your intro, okay? Now, the first verse, the fourth verse, and the chorus <laughs> all follow this pattern, okay? So sorry, uh, but they, they change it up. They just do variations, you know, when they're doing it. So, um, anywho, uh, this will get you most of the song. I'll break down everything, though. So you got your C chord for a measure, to a D minor for a measure, G7 for a measure, and C. Stay on C to D minor, and then C, and then G7 to C. Okay, so that's a whole pattern, and the only thing that was different, the strum was the same for every chord, except for that last measure, the G7 was down, down, and then the C finished it off with up, up, down. So it's the same pattern, I'm just breaking it up with the two chords. G7, C, okay? Hopefully that's clear enough. All right, so that is uh, the first verse. So you got your intro, you go right into your first verse, and then the chorus comes in. So you're already into the song, and then the interlude comes back, uh, the intro, which I'm going to call interlude from now on, comes back just the way it, it, um, it was before, okay? Now you're on to the second verse. I hope I'm not going too fast. The second verse is a little bit different. Uh, that's where um, I think uh, now God had seen some sin in, I think, is this one. Okay? So this is the, the C chord for measure, then D minor, G7, and then C. Just like that. Okay, so it's it's uh, practically the same. They just change it a little bit, just to aggravate us, right? So uh, that measure that's different is a C, and I do down, down, up. Then I go to G7, do the same thing, down, down, up, and then I go C for down, and then you're out for the rest of that measure. So let me play the verse two again. C, to D minor, G7, to C.
now you're on to verse 3, which is the same as verse 2. Exactly the same, okay? Then you got another chorus. Then, you're, uh, then and your interlude comes after the chorus every single time. Um, and then, and, and don't forget the interlude is just like the intro. Then you're on verse 4, which is exactly the same as verse 1 and the chorus. All right, now we're on, and then, and then there's a chorus, and then there's an interlude. Okay, so it follows the same pattern the whole time. Let me stop and give you the form right now. So it's an intro, um, which is the... Okay, intro, and then you got your verse and your chorus, and an interlude, same as the intro. Verse 2, chorus, interlude. Verse 3... Uh, chorus interlude, verse 4, chorus interlude, and now we're on verse 5, which is different, um, and then chorus 5 is also different, okay, so this is the big part of the song near the end, where it is different, uh, the words are, I think, uh, the ark started moving, it drifted with the tide, okay, okay, so verse 5 uh, is a little different, it's a C to a D minor, to a C, C, and then the D minor, he kind of stops, and now he's just talking, and then, here's the chorus, C to D minor, G7, to C, C, to D minor, your ending. Okay, so let's go over that. So verse 5, um, when you're playing it, it's, uh, it's C, D minor, G7, C, just like everybody else, then C, and then when you get to that second D minor, uh, let me see what the words are right around there, uh, and the waters came down and sort of floated them away. So now the poor unicorns are drowning, basically, is what he's saying. So you got your D minor. So I just did down, down, up, down, and then he kind of pauses, and what did he say here, and they, uh, they floated them away. That's why you'll never see a unicorn to this very day. So he says that, and then the bass comes in with, and then you're on to the green alligators and long neck geese. So that uh, little bass run is sixth string, third fret, fifth string, open. Fifth string second fret will lead right to the green egg, alligators and long neck keys. G7 to a C. C to D minor. And then a C. And then they stay on the G7 for a whole bar. And then C's a, this this uh this last part is C's down, down, up. Same thing with D minor, and then D minor, G7. So the last little bit that's extended, um, they stay on that G7 instead of going G7 to C like they did earlier in the song. It's G7 for a measure, and then down, down, up on a C, down, down, up on a D minor, and then an extra D minor, G7, and then C. Okay? And so that's uh, the Unicorn song. All right. So I gave you the form. I'm going to give it to you again. Intro, verse, chorus, interlude. Verse 2, chorus, interlude, verse 3, chorus, interlude, verse 4, chorus, interlude, verse 5, chorus 5. Those parts are a little bit different. Uh, that interlude and intro lick. Um, that's it right there. So I'm going to play a triplet on the first string. I'm going to go open, 1, 2, but a triplet like on it, or a strawberry, blueberry, and then I'm going to go three, two, three, five, three, open, all on the first string, and those are like dotted eighth notes and sixteenth notes, so it's, it's just basically, it's like swinging them, okay, so three, two, sorry, three, two, three, five, three, open, okay, so together, And I like to lead into that three, like I, I want to 
end up with my middle finger on it so I can reach the fifth fret with my pinky. Like that, okay? If you don't, you're gonna be end up stretching and, and you're gonna end up uh, screwing up, sorry. All right, the next part is third string open, second string first fret, and then second string third fret, fourth string third fret, like that. So, so. Okay, then open third, open second, second string third fret, and then second string first fret. So slowly. <laughs> Sorry, I screwed it up. Let me try it again. It's hard to do slow. <laughs> that was good enough. Uh, that's a unicorn song. It should be easier than it is, but uh, boy, once I started tinkering with it, I was like, oh, it's not the same thing every time. They like to fool around, so. But if you can play by ear, I'm sure it'll be a lot easier for you. But if you're the type uh, that doesn't just fake it and stuff, you gotta know everything, now you got it, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, play more guitar. And uh, this one, I used to, we used to drive around on Saturdays. I remember being with my father, and he'd have the Irish station on, and as a kid in the car, stuck there listening to all the Irish music. Uh, it was okay, but this was always the kid's favorite. You know, when this one came on, I waited for this one all Saturday. When it came on, I liked it. So, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Play more guitar.